Welcome to Firevoxel build 441. Um, I'm going to demonstrate three new features intended to help with the evaluating the accuracy of motion correction and registration. So let's start with the motion corrected DWI volume. So first layer is uh, unmarked and not visible. This is original layer. The second layer is a motion corrected layer. So if we scroll uh, th through this layer, the last uh, time points become very dark and hard to see. And this is because there is a single mapping that converts from uh, image signal intensity to screen intensities. So if we go to layer control dialog box and choose our layer and then press view filter, there is a new option called adaptive. And if we press adaptive, then, then this ma mapping is optimized for each separate uh, time point and uh, all the time points become bright. So next, uh, uh, one thing to know, this adaptive uh, setting is specific for every layer of the document. So it only works on the uh, selected layer. And you could enable it for any number of layers, of course. So, okay, next feature is uh, when we do motion correction, we scroll through the time points and try to visually observe the accuracy. However, uh, it might be helpful sometimes to have actual overlay of different time points so the uh, displacement could be more easily uh, detected. So there is this new feature uh, if you go on the volume menu and here it's called split for the volume into layers. There, there are no parameters you just press the new document appears. So uh, new documents converts each separate time point into a separate layer in the order of the time points. So for example, we could unmark them and then mark first and the last, and then we can observe precision when they overlay. Okay, so that was the feature number two. Now, the third feature is for checking um, precision of the re registration. So in this example, uh, this was a grasp DWI registration. There are two layers and um, there is the standard way that we use um, when we overlay uh, green over red and then changing the intensity of the top layer we could sort of see through and observe the uh, alignment of different features. However, there might be sometimes uh, more convenient uh, to use this new interlacing features. So interlacing feature works for the entire document. And there are three types of, uh, four types of interlacing. Known is just the default view and then we have X. And then there is this um, interlacing stride. When it's 0, 1, it's basically no interlacing. But uh, as we change the interlacing, uh, making it larger, then um, the stripes of interlacing are displayed um, 
in the order of the layers. So this is X interlacing and it goes up to 200. Also, there is Y interlacing. And there is X, Y interlacing when there is a checkerboard pattern. Uh, for my opinion, uh, the checkerboard was the actually harder to comprehend the results, but it might be useful. So in this mode, we still can use all the usual operation, like for example, change it to different colors and intensities are still working. For example, we could change alpha. So yeah, interlacing works well with all the other options. And again, um, Interlacing is uh, specific for the entire document. So thank you very much.